Are you a final expense insurance agent that wants to engage with more power and more profitability in a very simple industry? Well, you found the right video. I'm going to be sharing with you five tips that you can take to heart so that you can have more success. You can reduce distress and you can attain what you're actually trying to get. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you've got pen and paper, go grab it and nab it because you may be able to take your career to the absolute next level. Now, while you're grabbing your pen and paper. My name is Jason. I'm your friend in the business, and I'm very blessed to partner with amazing brand new and veteran agents in our national agency selling life, Medicare, and annuities face-to-face, -face, but more importantly, in the telespace. So free resources for your taking at jasonfinalexpense.com, and I appreciate you partnering with us by watching this content. Hope it is a huge help to you. So tip number one is so important. You've got to start in a state of planning. If you want to be successful, you have to plan for it if you want profitability. So many folks jump into their week and they come at it with the weak sauce and then they say that they don't find success. You have to plan, you have to prioritize if you want to be powerful and if you want to have a chance of making the paper. There are no participation prizes in this industry. It's a performance-based business. Those that do are those that get. And if you want to get higher levels of success in this space, you must, my friends, prioritize. Tip number one, if you're taking down notes, is so important to you making money with final expense in-person sales. If you want to get it, you got to get after it, and you're going to do that by planning. Now, I'm talking about tightly planning. You cannot have all this white space all over your calendar or this mindset of, oh, whatever happens, happens this week. Nope. You have to plan for success. Planning, 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 it gives you prioritization of your thoughts, your things, and the actions that you, my friends, are going to take. This is so important. So many insurance agents fail because all this white space on their calendar destroys them, and you will not let this happen to you. If you want to master final expense in person sales, you must plan tightly and rightly. So number one is big. You've got to plan your week out. you got to plan your order of leads. All right. Now, once you get your leads, you've got to have those in good order. And now you're just going to make a mess of them when you start calling them, maybe through your CRM, or maybe you're just old school and you got a piece of paper and a phone. There's no shame in the game, or you're strategically getting yourself ready to go door knock with face-to-face -face insurance sales. A lot of agents get frustrated because they failed to plan. Don't let this failure to plan cause major problems for you. So tip number one, is massive to you having a chance of making the money. Tip number one is big. Plan, 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 and don't overanalyze. Now that you've planned, we're going to overcome the income-reducing activities. You now know the leads. You know the neighborhoods that you're going to work next. Now tip number two comes into play. You're going to get everything necessary and needed before you now head out the door and go do something. You go see either your appointments that you've actually set and the ones that you can't set for in-person sales, you're going to go knock the door. You've got to be deliberate, but you've got to be prepared when you head out. So I'm talking about getting ready. Get your elevator speech elevated, all right? You got to get the little eye buggers gone. You got to get yourself looking right, looking tight, so that you can take your career to the next level. Don't get out that door looking all sloppy. You're not going to have the same levels of success if you look like you just rolled out of bed and you got eye buggers and you didn't have your coffee. And don't give me this cop out about, Oh, I'm too busy. Everybody's busy. Make the time to get things in order so that you can overcome the barriers that are going to, believe it or not, hold you back. You got to remove the weight, and that's going to be by getting your week ready to go through planning. Now you're going to powerfully be prepared and polished so that when you get out that door, you're ready to answer questions, ready to answer concerns. You're ready to go capitalize and care for these great people. It's not just about selling. It's about being prepared and polished to serve. You got to play with your script, play with your elevator speech, elevate what you do so that you can be dynamic when you knock on the doors and be prepared to get in those homes. Polished and prepared agents make more money in this industry than those that just roll out of bed. You roll out of bed and don't plan. You just rob yourself of opportunity. So now, 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 now that you have prepared, your car's ready and you're ready to go care for people. You look halfway put together for profitability. Now, number three, you're going to go hit the pavement with high action. Number three is big. 
high action. You've got to be prepared to launch, 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 not just, oh, I'm going to learn about this new product over here all day. Nope, that takes away your opportunity. If you want to master this simple craft, you've got to see yourself into a state of success, but also massive push, massive action. You've already bought your leads every week and make sure you're buying good final expense leads on the weekly if you're a face-to-face in-person agent. You want to have the best opportunity to engage, but you've got to move, move, move if you want to make the money. It doesn't happen by sitting around. That's going to just hurt you. And then you're going to say, oh, the industry is horrible. If you're sour in your mouth, how much did you move? Action, action, action. We'll fix all problems. If your leads don't go the way that you planned, go powerfully move into the next person that you can talk to. Everybody needs most likely some form of life insurance and you can go save them, but you've got to go serve them and you got to see yourself in a place of success, move with action, move with a sense of purpose because you've planned to do so. If you don't plan, you're going to have weak sauce come after you and you're going to be in a state that you're going to whine instead of work. So you've got to work through the pain. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but it is simple. Work Work, 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 work. Very important. Uh, Tip number three, hit the pavement, be prepared, be polished. Make sure your shoes are shined. All right, little dash of cologne, man, little hit of perfume, ladies, and go launch and love what you do. Now, tip number four is big. Now you're in front of a potential client. You want to make this money, right? I get it. Get rid of the commission breath. This is all about when you get in front of an amazing client, unpack their problems. Slow down. If you're all right, high on caffeine right now, we've got to control that. Get yourself a Tic Tac, get yourself an Altoid and actually be in a state that you are laser focused on what the client wants you to do for them. Now you're going to follow up in the conversation. You're going to ask questions. You're going to listen. You're going to lean in and learn what they desire you to do for them before you bring out your product. If you want to be profitable with in-person sales, it takes active intentionality. Once you've connected with that client, you've called them, you've gotten in the home by goodness, and now you can deal, all right, with their problems. And maybe, just maybe, you've got a product that is the solution that they desperately need. But you don't go solution first. It's not just selling, selling, selling. This is about serving them and doing needs-based sales. This is going to help you in in in-person sales. you got to have a good fact finder. You've got to have good systems like what we possess at JasonFinalExpense.com. We've got some amazing in-person, face-to-face insurance agents. They're dynamic, but they do, and they go, and they show, and they're polished, and they're prepared, and they know how to handle an insurance presentation in the consumer's best interest. You've got to be ready to go. You must not skip steps or it'll slap you silly in this industry. So make sure you've got good fact finders, good systems. You've already practiced with a mentor. You've really gotten yourself in a place that you can make it. Now you've got to get really laser focused on the person that's in front of you with everything that's in you. Go help them and you're going to help yourself at the end of the day as a result. But help others first, you always come second. So get yourself ready. Have that conversation in a way that is good. Ask questions. Lean in and learn how you can support and help them, and you may just have a sale as a result. Tip number five is a big one to boost your productivity. A lot of times you're so busy getting new clients, you forget about your old clients. Don't do this. If you have a, if you want to have an overwhelming level of success, there is so much money to be made by making contact with older clients that have things that change. Maybe they've got new children, new grandchildren. They want a grandchild policy. Maybe their daughter needs insurance. And if you dial them every now and then, a couple times a year, you will find that there are additional sales there. Or maybe they want additional coverage. You gave them 5,000, now they want 10. Some of our face-to-face final expense insurance agents' biggest weeks were working their existing block of business, just going back out into those homes and doing a policy review. And then they found that there was more protection that was needed and necessary, and they really enjoyed just the relaxed environment of being in front of somebody that likes them and bought from them. This will increase your belief, and belief is the backbone of this industry. So I hope these tips take you far in mastering final expenses in person and face-to-face sales. If you need any resources, any training, need any techniques, fact finders, or a good work family to call a home, jasonfinalexpense.com. Love to help you. Love to serve you. But keep saving these great prospects from their problems. And remember, you've got what it takes. Take your career to the next level because you've planned for it and you will attain hopefully greatness. Even though 90% of the agent 
enforcement force may be sloppy and not know how to sell their way out of a wet paper bag, you may have what it takes to make the wealth. We'll see you soon, my friends, and I appreciate you watching.